Hi there, Internet. This is Sonop Chief Unlocked, and welcome to this Let's Be Nostalgic of Super Metroid. Uh, this almost 20 years old game made for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System by Nintendo. And without further ado, let's just get right into this game. Let's have a look at the intro. The last Metroid is in captivity. The galaxy is at peace. I first battled the Metroids on planet Seabees, or Sevis, I'm not sure what lore tells us to call this planet. It was there that I fourth the plans of the space pirate leader Mother Brain to use creatures to attack galactic civilization. Of course, Samus is a girl and I'm not doing a very good female voice um, impersonation here, that's one thing that's for sure. Also, that's, this is not quite how the game looked on, on Tenor, as far as I remember. I next fought the Metroids on their homeworld, SR388. Completely eradicated them, except for a lava, which, after hatching, followed me like a confused child. Oh, it's a beautiful baby girl. I personally delivered it to the Galactic Research sta uh, Station at Ceres, so scientists could study its energy-producing qualities. Yeah, we know where this is going, don't we? The scientists' findings were astounding. They discovered that the powers of the Metroid might be harnessed for the good of civilization. Let's see how that's gonna go. Satisfied that all was well, I left the station to seek a new bounty to hunt. But I had hardly gone beyond the asteroid belt when, uh, when I picked up a distress signal. Ceres station was under attack. Oh, come on! This place must have horrible security. Alright, so that's basically um, the plot of the game in a nutshell. I should say right here from the beginning that this is not going to be me speedrunning the game. I'm not going to do, do um, everything pic uh, pixel perfectly. I'm not going to do a 100% run. I might try, but I probably won't be able to. And um, I definitely won't be destroying the game, cutting it into pieces like many people on the internet do. If, if that's your thing, um, then, well... Check on YouTube, there are plenty of Let's Players doing this and being much better at the game than, uh, than I am. So what I want to do though, is just play the game the way it was somehow meant to be played. I want to reboot games from my uh, childhood, um, games that I remember, games that I, were, um, that I was particularly fond of. And I want to play them the way they were meant to be played. Um, not so many glitches, more just um, trying to find all the uh, secrets that I sort of remember being there and um, doing the game uh, my way. In particular, I know that right now I could just um, literally take off all my health, but let's just see if we can actually um, get the dragon to leave. Sometimes this game puts you into a uh, horrible, horrible boss fight right to begin with, and that didn't go all that well. Oh, what is this now? <laughs> Every single time you want to do anything, it, uh, the place you want to do it in just self destroys. Alright, so this is, um, I mean, this whole part here is just Super Metroid. Uh, Tutorializing the game essentially. Sure, you have movement work, have movement work, and which buttons do what, and stuff like that. It doesn't say that explicitly, but I guess that's kind of the point of this um, this whole sequence. Also, to kind of get you in the mood for the game. And again, I realize that every single speaker in our, they're watching this movie uh, will be cringing right now for how bad that actually went from a uh, time perspective. But once again, I don't care. I just want to play this game. Um, and hopefully someone uh, wants to watch that as well. I 
I should say that I'm playing this on the PC, so I'm using an emulator. Um, I've always always enjoyed the emulator called Setsnef. If there is anybody else out there who wants to get into um, to playing some of their old Super Nintendo games, um, so one particular feature of these emulators, of course, is their ability to use save states. Um, Meaning that at any point in time of the game, you could just save the state, and then if you do terribly, you don't have to go back to the last um, point of saving. Um, however, I think I'll just again do it the way it's meant to be played. I'll use save stations for saving, and I'll in particular use them whenever I feel like I need a break from the game. Um, so what's happened here is that. Um, we landed on this um, planet that we thought we had um, eradicated our space pirates earlier in, a, in a, a previous game, and it does look very remote and dead. You can tell because it has fog inside of the station here, and um, this, of course, is the particular room that we saw in the introduction of the game. But at least there is some sort of thing still working here, an elevator. For those of you not familiar with the game, the whole um, essence of the game is to pick up items like this one, the morphing ball, which we can then use to uh, come into places that we weren't able to to, uh, to go into earlier. So for example, I could have tried to get under this hole, um, but I wouldn't have been able to. But now I've got this morphing ball, which allows me to go through um, small gaps like that. And this, this whole game is about exploration and... Um, and, uh, and backtracking in the sense that now I get some more items, then I can go to places that I couldn't go to before. Um, stuff like that. Okay, so what we have here is a missile, or rather five missiles. What I can use those for is the following. Let's just get back up again first of all. Um, so you see these red doors here? Um, I couldn't have come into those um, as, I, as I could with the blue doors before without using a um, um, at least five missiles on the door to open it up. So what have we got in here? Well, some kind of surveillance camera as well as five more missiles. And I think that's what we've got down here for us um, right now. So at any part of the game, one can choose to have a look at the map, um, see where we've been and where we could be able to go, um, as well as all of the items, um, all the pickups that we found. So I've only found this morphing ball, and I can turn it off from my suit if I wanted to. I don't think that's ever going to be necessary in this game. So let's just go back again. This is like the perfect example of what I meant when I said that this game was all about backtracking. This kind of stuff will uh, will be happening the entire time. Except now there are monsters! So with that I thought I uh, killed all the space pirates. Yeah, apparently not. Seems like Samus, uh, our heroine here, is the kind of chick who doesn't really do things to an end. I mean, she goes here, kills all the space pirates, except apparently not. She figures out oh, there's this metro here, what do I want to do with it? Well, let's just give it to these people in the sta space station, uh, the research statement, who are apparently incapable of doing anything of, uh, of use. By the way, one cool mechanic here is uh, our ability to wall jump. Or, apparently, one cool mechanic here is my inability to wall jump. Uh, that's going to be useful later. should maybe say that I'm not quite as bad as I look here. Um, I just recently uh, got a couple of um, old school controllers for playing games like these, whereas I usually just use my keyboard. It takes a little bit of getting used to. So really what I'm using here is just a, um, a fairly cheap Logitech controller, which is it's kind of perfect for SNES games because it's got its um, four main buttons and a couple of shoulder buttons, which is really all you need if, if, if you want to do SNES games. We're just continuing to go on here. 
Yet another door requiring me mis uh, to fire missiles to get in. What have we got here? A new pickup. Bombs. Alright, so what they do is that we could um, roll to a ball and now we can place bombs. No, the storage turned great, that means that I can't get out. What's up with that game? Well, apparently now I have to beat the statue to just escape me stuff. Just give a bunch of missiles in the face. That's how we roll here, and that's the first made bus stop. Not counting the one in the um, space station at the beginning. So this really is the game in a nutshell. You go around, find more and more pickups, kill enemies to um, to regain your energy, your missiles, stuff like that, and get cooler and cooler items that you could use to go to places that you haven't been able to go to before. So I think that's what really made this game for me when I was a kid. Um, the seemingly endless exploration that it contained. I mean, even even if you can beat this game in uh, an hour and a half with uh, with some experience, um, doing most of the stuff that's interesting in the game, you um, when you first get into it, it feels very much like the game is, is basically infinite. You're continuing to go around and figure out oh, where, where can I go now with this new stuff I got, um, stuff like that. All about exploration. So what we've got here is an energy tank. Um, so you see the leftmost corner, you can see my energy you probably saw that before. Um, so whereas before I had a max energy of 99, my max is now um, uh, up to 199. Every red cell up there um, counts for uh, 100 energy. Right, and we'll be back to this place later. Let's for now, let's just go on and see what we've got here. Another elevator. Just to give you some sort of overview of what we've done so far. I mean, our spaceship is is, is the thing noted, uh, denoted by an S here on the map. And we essentially just went all the way down to another area called Brinstar, which is what I'll be revisiting, revisiting here with this elevator. Another thing I should mention at this point is that, um, again, I am really just sound testing here and trying to see out and uh, check out if my sound setup works for uh, for let's play. It's a little bit of streaming where it, it seems to work fairly okay, um, but I really want to make sure that um, sound quality, video quality, and stuff like that is up to par. So, so one interesting thing about this room is that. Um, if I want to go to the right, there are these things here blocking me. Um, that's not the case if you're a pro, then you could do a trick where you turn into a ball mid-air and uh, gain enough momentum to be able to uh, to go through those doors coming down. Again, I'm not a pro, neither am I going to want to spend time on, on that kind of stuff. Let's see what we've got in this other room. I'm all already at the point where I'm confused about what's in these different rooms, um, which is kind of bad. I had hoped that my memory would um, serve me a little bit better than it did here. So this much I do remember, though. I seem, however, also to faintly recall that I can't do anything in this room right now. Oh, that's not completely untrue. Oh, uh, completely true. This is a map. So this essentially shows me uh, all of Brinstar, as well as all its connection to uh, surrounding areas. Or at least that's what the game watches, I think. Um, in reality, this game is full of secrets, uh, which is another cool thing about it. Um, there are lots of fun shot areas where you can go for uh, bonus pup pickups and items that you wouldn't necessarily need to, to complete the game, but, um, but you can use for making it easier for yourself. So again, that's uh, another thing that I thought, um, thought was very cool about this game when I first played it as a kid. I remember um, when we were doing like drawings in, uh, in, uh, in public school, or at least that's what we called around here, uh, Folkeskolen. Um, 
I would oftentimes just uh, draw secrets of Super Metroid, uh, being a huge nerd, even of uh, of early age. So, so that's the sort of impression that this game here left on me. I'm taking a bit of damage here because I don't want to deal too much with those flying guys. I'll probably be able to replenish my health soon enough. Let's see what more we've got here. my health a bit more here if I'd like to. Hey, I successfully wall jumped, so apparently I'm not completely retired, or as retired as I was afraid I was for a second here. I'm sure some viewers disagree, though. But screw you, viewers, I'm doing my best here. Um, if I remember correctly, I'm actually not supposed to go up here again. Let's see what we got in here. Another safe mode, which I guess I could have figured out if I had a look at the map where it says S for safe. Let's see what's gonna happen if we go up here, though. Some of these assholes. I'm so bad at computer games. Let's give this guy a bunch of missiles instead, because this is going all that well. Alright, so what we've got up here is actually another um, boss fight spawning a little bit for you, so I'm a little bit um, worried that maybe I'm not going to have enough health here, um, seeing as how bad my movement is coming along right now. It should be a fairly easy boss, though. The mechanics are uh, so straightforward for this one. Hide when, uh, when he wants to hit you so that he can't. Get hit and take a bunch of health to uh, sort of make up for it, and then throw in a bunch of missiles into his mouth, which I really couldn't there because he was in the way. Maybe we'll just try to stick to the left instead. I think there's maybe some RNG, some randomness um, to this the thing where he stops, but I'm not actually sure. I managed to get one in. I mean, if I did this this well enough, I would probably have been able to to get in at least two or three. One. So you see, he's turning dogger and faster. Um, so it makes it a little more of a pain here. Shooting these small guys gives uh, gives me power ups, which should be pretty obvious. So you never really get stuck here with, uh, with no missiles. I can't hurt him with my uh, regular uh, beam here. I can only manage to get one in. There is a trick as well here to um, to get more powerful missiles um, early on in the game that makes this particular fight a lot easier. Um, I'm no hacker. That's the thing I've said on several locations already. So of course, as many people are probably familiar with. Um, the Metroid series is uh, one of the flagships of uh, Nintendo. I think this is the third one of the series, if I'm uh, not misremembering. Um, basically, every single Nintendo platform has had um, a Metroid game, with a few exceptions. I think I only played all the 2D side scrolling ones. Um, with, um, I mean, there is also a 3D Metroid series, um, uh, the Metroid Prime series, which I do have on my Wii, but I just never got around to playing it because I always end up playing this game instead whenever I want it. So, well, there's the trap. So, what's this? We are falling. <clears throat> Fortunately, there is no fall damage in this game. What there is in this game, though, is super missiles. So, those are the, these are those um, power up. Um, missiles that I was talking about before that we could use to open green doors. We already saw a green door before that we couldn't come through. Um, but now we can. I'll just use these guys to replenish my health back up to 899. And go on here. 
I'm not sure if the screen's turned black for you guys once in a while. Um, if so, that's just my screen server turning on. My screen server turning on. I should have probably turned that off, but yeah. So let's see, where are we now in the in the world here? Well, so we're sort of back to where we started. Um, so these small dots denote um, secrets in the map. So again, here we have a yellow door. I can't get through that as well because uh, I need some um, some uh, other kind of um, weapon to do that. So it's just like missiles open red doors and uh, super missiles open green doors. I need something else to open up, uh, the yellow one. So it looks like the missile over here is difficult to come by because of these... Um, I need something to, to work with these things in the, in the, in the roof here. Except if I am actually able to to wall jump my way up to it. Um, that's not quite the way to do that. So you see me turning into a morph ball um, once in a while. Um, that's sort of an artifact of me using this uh, logistic controller. It's not totally like the SNES controller where doing that would be uh, much harder. So I'm still having a little bit of... Um, problems getting used to the controller, but that'll probably pass. So what do I do here to come by? Here again, I need one of these particular uh, kinds of bombs um, that open up yellow doors. So I can't do very much in there yet. Um, so let me just go on and see what we've got down here. More missiles! Oh, it's a welcome gift. So if you actually 100% this game, you'll the game will just overfeed you with missiles, you'll get many more than you'll ever need. But we'll take them. There's a little bit of a secret there. So notice that this wasn't actually um, charted on the map. Um, meaning that this um, this charge beam here that I just got is something you could easily miss if you're not looking for secrets to begin with. Um, so let me just show off what this um, charge beam actually does. It allows you to do this kind of charge shot here, um, which acts very much like a missile. So that's good, of course. Um, the more harm we can do to our foes, the better. Again, up here there's a yellow door that I can't quite get through. But maybe I will be able to get up here. And indeed I was. Where we have another missile. Rather, five more missiles. Missiles are kind of crap, though, for dealing with... Um, the more difficult enemies in the game, you really want to use super missiles or uh, or better beams for those guys. I don't know. I feel like I should somehow compensate for the fact that my memory is not quite as good as it has been, uh, and prove to myself that at least I do remember some of the secrets in this game whenever they come. Actually, a cute thing here, um, like game design, is, uh, game design wise, is the fact that um, we can't actually get back here. Um, wait, does that make sense? I guess it doesn't. I'm not really sure what I meant by that. Music's changing. That's another thing I really love about this game: is the fact that it's um, uh, the ambience, the music, the uh, just the feel of it in general is uh, just sublime for what it's got to work uh, with. It's very basic music chip stuff like that. But it still just works perfectly. So that um, tank in there just says it allows us to refill our energy whenever we need it. So even if it's not quite the case here, um, that often means that when you see one of those, as well as a uh, missile recharge or in the safe, Safe room, you'd be almost sure that there is a boss fight coming up. So, can we make it up here? I think we might actually be able to. Again, this is something where you usually um, need some kind of other uh, gadget to get through. So, is this thing actually going to close up? Yeah, it was. So, even though we only had it for 20 minutes. Now we will actually get a new beam in the game. So I'm forgetting, is there some kind of secret here as well? Doesn't look like it. So, um, 
This new beam here, uh, I think it does higher damage, but uh, if nothing else, at least it has a um, higher range within which it hits. This kind of water here is really a big nuisance. Um, so the game sort of tells you that there is a secret up here by showing you that you can get up here, but you can't quite get through to it. So normally, in, able, in, uh, in order to be able to get up there, I would have needed some kind of, um, as I said, gadget to make me jump higher. So, of course, I imagine most of the people who are watching this have probably uh, played the game before. So I'm, I'm sounding totally lame when I'm. Uh, trying like to make everything seem like a total surprise as, uh, as these whatever kind of gadgets might be um, so I don't think I'll be able to do anything quite yet in here again notice that I can run through here but I'm not quite fast enough to make it through all the way through and um, so now I have to figure out some way of coming back again so this of course um, should mean that there is some other way um, to move faster in the game, which we'll probably see later. So also now we're in a new area here called Norfair, um, where I don't have the map yet, so I can't really tell what's uh, what's to come. So this is always a very welcome gift, another agent attack. So notice now that this door has turned grey, which means that there is only one way. Uh, forward. So there is first of all a missile up there that I'm going to pick up at some point, but first let's see what we've got in here. Surprise, surprise! It's um, high jump boots. It allow me to jump higher. So not only a very genius thing to put in a game, also um, very geniusly named. So what else have we got here? There are a bunch of missile, missiles. I'll take those. And go back. But no, the um, door is still grey. So that usually means that we either have to kill a certain boss or we just have to um, have rid this particular room of enemies. So in this case, I just needed to kill that one um, wall, crawler, wall crawler guy there. So we can actually get down here as well, see what we've got. So I believe this is one of the secrets... Uh, no, I wasn't. I just wanted to, to make a comment about how sometimes you actually need to find some secrets to, uh, to progress. Alright, so a safe room. <clears throat> and I think this is a good, as, uh, good a time as any um, to call it quits uh, here. So thanks everybody for watching and um, if you want to have a look another time, want to follow this series or some of the other series I'm doing, um, please subscribe to my channel. That always helps a lot um, when trying to figure out if people are actually interested in this game or not. So have fun! <laughs>